LGBTQIA representation in heritage can often feel like a powerful weapon used to reveal that these identities have always existed via iconic figures, stories and objects from the past. And sometimes that representation, quite literally, is a powerful weapon. Like the silver earring from 1999 from the Museum of London, representing a labrice, a double-headed axe. Now, a person wearing this at the time wouldn't just be thinking, hey, was this I'll be looking sharp. They would want to pass along a specific message, making their identity visible. Because the labrice is a lesbian feminist symbol, associated with strength and self-reliance and rooted within a history of powerful goddesses and war women. The labrice first emerged in Minoan civilization during the Bronze Age on the island of Crete in Greece. It was linked to powerful goddesses who held central importance within Minoan society. Later on, the labrice was sometimes offered to the Greek goddess Artemis. She was the goddess of the moon, of the hunt, and of unmarried girls, since she herself was a virgin who refused to give up her freedom for a man. In Roman Crete, the labris was also associated with a group of powerful mythological women, the Amazons. These legendary warrior women fought together and lived together away from men and were inspired by real Scythian women with exceptional fighting, riding and hunting skills. Now, records of and direct references to women loving women in history and legends alike are severely lacking. These relationships are often made invisible when they're not openly condemned. However, Artemis's chastity, which was usually defined by lack of relationships with men, no references to lack of relationships with women, as well as the very nature of the Amazons challenging the gender norms of the time, mean that many today can and do look at these figures by an LGBTQIA lens. They have become powerful icons that many can relate to, to explore and express their own gender identity, gender expression, sexuality, and love. In the same way, the labris, originally a symbol for powerful women, came to represent the power of all women. In the 70s, New Age pagan practices using ancient matriarchal symbols included the labris. It first came to be used as a feminist activist symbol before specifically becoming a lesbian one. In 1999, the same year this earring was made, graphic designer Sean Campbell designed the lesbian feminist flag, featuring the labris. We don't know which one came first, the flag or this earring, but wearing one or waving the other would send this powerful message, that you were visible, that you were proud, and that you had a lesbian feminist axe to grind.